Hi everyone, 365 Ninja here. I'm going to show you one of my very favorite tips for office. It's something that I do all day, every day, essentially. Some of you are really familiar with this, but I know a lot of people who have not seen this before. So I want to show you all Format Painter. So Format Painter is essentially, it's like you're copying and pasting just the formatting of one selection to another. Not actually copying and pasting text or anything like that, but here's an example that will make it clear. I have this header. And I want my entire header to be that larger text with that orange color. So I just make sure that my cursor is clicked into the selection that has the formatting that I want to copy. Click over to Format Painter. Notice my cursor changes when I'm hovering over text. It has a little paintbrush next to it. So now I just copy what I want to be changed and the formatting is copied over to that new selection. Now you can do this in other applications. Let's take Outlook. So I copied something from the web. That's often a case where formatting isn't quite what you want. So I have my cursor selected into the formatting that I like that I want to copy over. Click to Format Painter. Select this quotation that I want to have different formatting and you can see that it instantly changed to my regular email font Now I looked around in the office web apps to see where format painter actually is able to be used and the only place that I could really find was PowerPoint So you're gonna have to keep your eye out when you're working with PowerPoint online to see when format painter is actually active when it's not grayed out like it is here so if I'm on this slide, I can click into the text and Format Painter is still grayed out. I can't actually use it in this case, even if I want to. I did notice though that if you're working with shapes, if you have your entire shape selected, notice I didn't just click into the text, I selected the entire shape. Format Painter is highlighted, it is able to be used. So I'll click Format Painter, click over to this shape, and the color and the text formatting was copied. So if you're working with PowerPoint online, you can take advantage of this feature, but it's really useful in the 2013 apps. You can use it in Excel, in PowerPoint, in OneNote, even some things I didn't demonstrate. So if you haven't used it before, I hope this tip helped. If you needed a reminder to use it, I hope this helped as well. Please check back with 365ninja.com for more tips and tricks.